All right, guys, it is full service time on the CF Moto C Force 800. This goes for the 2019 model, the 2020 model, which we have here today, and the 2021 model. The, is this, everything's exactly the same as far as uh, everything we need to do to service one of these C Force 800s. And we have the, the man himself, Mr. Joel, is going to be showing us everything we need to do. Uh, but we have the MSC oil change kit right here uh, that we're going to be using today. And uh, that is available for you to call and order. And that can be shipped to you. We have two options for you. This is highly recommended by CF Moto, the Maximal Racing Oil uh, High Performance uh, Full Synthetic. Or you can go with this option. This is the uh, just a premium blend. So uh, uh, that is, that's an option for you. So if you're somebody that wants to run a full synthetic, that's the oil to use. If you want to use a blend, that's some good stuff as well. So both of these kits are available at Main Street Cycle. It comes with the right oil filter that you need, as well as a uh, oil filter uh, gasket. And a for your drain plug, here's your uh, washer gasket there and that will come in the kit when you call and order and uh, so you can do that you can call the number that's in the description Joel you know that number what is that number 662-438-6407 there you go and that's also down in the description you can also go to MainStreetCycle.com and uh, get some more information there when you call just make sure you ask for the parts department and uh, they can get you set up but enough talking I'm gonna let Joel take it from here and he's going to tell us what to do on a full service. Uh, how we're going to do the engine first. Engine straight in the bottom here. It's a 19 millimeter. Straight in from the bottom. Oh, must be stepping. Yeah, sometimes that'll happen. So the, the washer gasket sometimes will stick. It just fell out. So uh, sometimes your washer gasket will fall out, uh, and uh, we're gonna change or it'll it stick. But we're, yeah, uh, Joel is gonna change it anyways because that you get a new washer with your kit, so uh, you don't have to worry about it being installed again and messing up or leaking or anything. So. New washer and clean everything up real nice and neat. This is an aftermarket skid plate, so your your skid plate will be a uh, plastic skid plate, but has the same hole location. It's just once it all drains out, put your plug back in, run it up finger tight, and uh, and then torque her down. <laughs> But don't strip don't it out. <laughs> and uh, you can do this on in your own shop, in your garage, in the driveway. Just uh, keep you a nice clean spot. Jack it up with a regular floor jack, and uh, get you some jack stands. Make sure you're in park, and you have the if you have a parking brake, make sure you engage that, which you should with the C Force 800. So take it away, buddy. And then you get this panel off here. You snap it off the front here. And then slide it backwards. Yeah. Then you won't break these here. I've heard of people breaking those. So guys, that's what he's talking about. These tabs right there. If you just yank it straight off, it's going to break them things, and you don't want to have to buy one. So, uh, but if you do break one, you can get yours at Main Street Cycle. Three eight millimeter bolts for the oil filter. So there's no way around not making a mess when you change the oil filter. So uh, just keep that in mind. Make sure you have your, uh, well you see, you see you just took the uh, O-ring off and uh, with your new kit, you'll get a brand new one. So you can put, throw that one away and put your new one on. Beautiful.
careful not to strip those out. Uh, Joel has his tools all uh, tuned to where they, they ain't going to overdo anything or over torque. You can also use a quarter inch ratchet there with an extension and uh, just don't strip those dudes out. You need to be careful there. <clears throat> we really hope that these how-to videos, uh, we, we just really want to show people and give people confidence that you can work on your machines and uh, take good care of them. But if you still just don't have the confidence to work on this stuff, you can bring it here to Main Street Cycle and the guys here at the shop are great CF Moto mechanics. They also work on pretty much anything, really, uh, any manufacturer, but they sure do specialize in CF Moto, and I think they're the best in the business. So uh, if you want your stuff worked on by them, they are definitely worth the drive here to Tishomingo, Mississippi at Main Street Cycle. And this here, the front one, up here where your front drain plug is your engine. Rear one is your transmission with your stickers right here. It may come off though, but it goes down to your transmission plug in there at the bottom at an angle. Okay. So that is the engine oil up towards the front. And this one will hold 2.6 liters also. Okay, and with the kit we get uh, three liters, is that right? Yep. All right, so Mr. Joel here is gonna put uh, mm -hmm go ahead and empty out two full liters and then he will carefully add a little over a half of the third liter bottle and that should put us right there at 2.6 but remember just a quick tip you can always add more a lot easier than you can take some out yeah that's the good stuff there if you take care of your CF Moto, it will take care of you. All right, so that's two liters. Mr. Joel is going to put about a little over half of that one, and he's going to tell us how to properly check the level here in just a moment. All right, you can save that for a later date. As soon as you get the oil in it, just go straight, go ahead and put it in it, crank it up, let it fill the oil filter up, and then we'll check it again when we get done after it fills the oil filter up. Gotcha, gotcha, all right. So how long is necessary here? About 30 seconds. That's all I really need. And for, for those that have an 800, that beeping noise there was the oil pressure yeah. sensor. Yeah, when you first crank it after you change it, it'll have oil pressure until it builds it up. That's where it's having to pump the oil to where it needs it. So don't be alarmed if that oil pressure light beeps uh, when you first change it, um, just as long as it stops. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Remember to use a clean rag and uh, to check with your dipstick and don't knock any debris or dirt into the, uh, the fill area there. Then when you go to check it, clean it up real nice. Put it down to the threads, don't screw it in. Just down even, and then pull it straight out. And your top line's full, and that's where we at. All right, that's it. And I can tell you've done this several times because you get it right every time. There we go. So that's it on changing the oil. Remember to check, your, uh, check for leaks and such. But since this is a full service, we're now gonna to move to the transmission, right? All right, so we're lifting it back up to be able to get to the uh, transmission uh, drain plug. And I went ahead and cracked open the, uh, the dipstick for the transmission to let it breathe so that it will uh, drain a little easier. Now keep in mind, this, uh, 
This may look a little different under here than yours. Uh, uh, the, stock, uh, the stock skid plate is a little bit easier to get to everything. But uh, Mr. Joel is going to show us exactly Trans where. Transmission is here. Yeah, let me I don't know if you might get it up in there where you can see it. It goes in at an angle sideways. It's 17 millimeter. Okay, y'all see that there? I'm trying to get it to focus. But it's that, that's that bolt right up there and it's sticking out to the side there. And uh, I wonder how you can be able to see it. But like you said, it's a 17 millimeter. And uh, I don't know what's going on. If this skid plate wasn't in the way, which it's not in the, on the stock skid plate, you'll be able to easily get to it. And uh, remember, it's going to shoot out to the side towards us, so we, we're going to try not to get that on the camera. There it goes. Oh yeah, definitely making a mess. Filling up the whole skid plate there. <laughs> Just have you a big catch can. Let that all drain out. And so there's no filter on this, right? No, so not, it's, usually, it's a, I only got the engine filter, no transmission filter. Okay. So <clears throat> you just let this drain and uh, then we're gonna fill it up. What kind of transmission fluid do y'all use? The maximum. All right, and that's, that's gonna be available here at Main Street Cycle with uh, the full service kit or you can just order that uh, you know, on its own, however you want to do that here at Main Street Cycle, it is available. We got the good stuff here. And that's a premium blend specifically for the transmission by Maxima Racing Oils. So. Also clean this up, make sure you get all the metal off this and got us a new washer for this one also. Drain plug there, but just get that screwed in, started with your fingers. And then you can tighten it on down with a what size? 17. 17. And don't over tighten it. So I'm just looking right here through the uh, through the uh, skid plate here behind the rear fender. And, uh, and that's just below the dipstick on the transmission dipstick there. You can see, trace that down. But anyhow, we're going to get that started and screwed in and uh, we'll tighten her down and then we'll fill it up. All right, so Mr. Joel got that bolt tight like it's supposed to be. This one's gonna hold 0.6 in the transmission of our transmission oil maximum. All right. The good stuff. About over 500 miles. About I would do 500. the transmission. Okay. And the differentials and stuff, about every thousand. All right. Unless you're getting water and stuff in them, something like that. Yeah, if you're doing a lot of heavy mud riding, river riding, creek riding, you need to service yours more often. And then, same thing with this one, don't screw it in, bottom it out, pull it back up, and top marks full. Just like it, you don't have to crank it or anything. You don't have no filter or nothing to fill up. So when it's full, it's just That's full. That's it. So transmission is serviced and done. Now we're moving on to the differentials. Is that right? Yep. All right. So that's going to be your fill. Uh, that's where you'll fill it up here in a moment. But the drain plug is right there. And that is a Allen head, uh, eight, millimeter. eight millimeter Allen head. So this is the rear diff, eight millimeter, break it loose. Get your uh, drain pan ready to catch some diff fluid. All right, so we got the drain plug pulled out. Uh, and one more time, I done forgot already, that's a eight millimeter, eight millimeter, Allen. Eight millimeter Allen head. And just let all that drain out. And uh, then we're going to, uh, you can inspect your oil, just kind of make sure it ain't too milky or anything, or uh, hopefully it, it's not. And uh, once that finishes, you can clean the plug, uh, the drain plug, and once it finishes draining, 
you can uh, put that back, and we'll do that in just a moment. But Mr. Joel is just kind of had a little air, so let it come out. Yeah, you can crack. Yeah, that's a good point. See how it's flowing on out now. Um, all he did was take the fill cap off to let the whole differential breathe, and that allows it to flow on out there. So let that flow out, and uh, then uh, you'll be good to go to fill it up, and we'll pick up here in just a moment. All right, now we've got it all drained out. So we can put our plug back in. Got it cleaned up, new washer. Get straight in from the bottom. You fill it up here on the side, and you fill it up till it runs out of this hole. Now we're using a, a hand pump, and uh, that's running the uh, Maxima gear oil, 80W90. That is what we recommend here and what we sell and what uh, we will have available to ship to you. Or you can come by and make the drive to Tishomingo and get everything you need. Or you can get the whole kit, whole maintenance kit shipped to your door. And uh, you'll be able to use everything that we recommend and use in all of our personal CF Moto uh, machines. So you would have to have some kind of hose and a funnel to be able to do what we're doing here. But see how he's letting a little bit come out? That lets you know it's full. There is no sight glass or anything, so let it funnel in there until it kind of starts to uh, bleed out. Put your cap back on. And that is the, is that the same size? Yep, Okay. both the same. Same size Allen head. And uh, just get that back on. Don't cross thread it and tighten her down. And we'll move on to the front differential and it will be just like the rear differential. All right, now we're gonna grease the grease fittings we got on it and the stuff that don't have grease fittings that has moving parts, we're gonna spray with this oil. You can spray it with all different kinds of oil. We're gonna spray the A yarn, ball joints, tie rod ends where the shocks move, top and the bottom, upper and lower, tie rod ends, the winch, your free spin knob over here on the side. And then do the same thing on this side, A yarn, top and bottom, tie rod ends, shock. No grease fittings on the front. We're fixing to do four back here on the back. Can you see that? Uh, Got one on each sway bar on the back. Or not on the sway bar, you're swinging on. Trailing arm will come. Then you have I don't know if you can see that at all. Then you have a sway bar on the back that's got one on each side also. Yeah, so on the sway bar and the trailing arm, Sorry, I can't get a good focus on there for y'all, but it's on the sway bar and the trailing arm on each side. And that's all the grease fittings on here, huh? Yep, and then we'll let it down. We'll oil all the gear shifter, the brake pedal, the key switch and everything. All right. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this side panel now on. This thing slides in on the back. So put the back, back in, in first. Back in first. Okay. Slide it forward. And then your front will pop in. Boom. Then that'll keep you from breaking the tabs and everything off of it. And we also go with all the gear shifter, steering stem where it goes through the bushing and the handlebars, emergency brake, front brake lever, your foot brake, key switches. 
do is put anything that moves. Just to get the bite it on. Then we'll set the tire pressure. Alright, so yeah, definitely a good idea to always check your tire, tire pressure. That's one thing they do on a full service is check the tire pressure. Um, each tire is different, but we keep them anywhere from uh, 10 to 12 PSI. Is that right? And 7 or? on the four wheeler. 7 on the four wheeler, okay. 10 to 12 on the side by side. 10 to 12 on the side by side, okay. So we're checking that. So Mr. Joel has got everything done and now one of the last steps they do on a full service is the air filter, right? Yep. On your rear seat here, you may not know how to get it up. Pull this lever, slide it back. Man, that's nice. Seat's just got a lever here on the back. And then on this side panel, this one's also, people break it too. You've got a rubber grommet here, pull straight out on it. You've got one here on the front, you pull straight out on. Then you pick up here in the middle. Then you got one on this side you pull out. And then it slide off. Oh, nice. All right, now we get that off, we're gonna pull our air filter box off. Best thing to do on these, you can pull them off with your fingers, but get you a little screwdriver and they'll pop right off. No problem. Two back here in the back. And then this cover pulls straight up. And this one's got the uh, upgraded air filter. If you can pull it off, show you how to clean it. If you got your factory one, you'll just get an air blower and blow it from the inside out, clean that up. With this one, we fix to show you how to clean it. And if you want the upgraded air filter, we also have it. All right, so that's that's the upgraded air filter that we like to run, and uh, that is available here at Main Street Cycle. <clears throat> and we use the the outer wear and the uh, uh, uni air filter here, and uh, it's it's a definitely a nice upgrade. But if, if they have the stock air filter, what what can they do with that? What's some tips on the stock air It'll filter? It'll have a foam over the outside. You'll pull it off, and you can clean it just the way we're fixing to clean this part of the foam. But the inner part is paper, and if you get it wet stuff, it'll ruin it. So it, you'll have to blow out, and then you can actually clean the outer part with about anything. And just dry it before you go putting it back on or anything. But you can blow the paper part out, and you can wash the foam part out. So that outerwear that, that Main Street Cycle carries, that just really adds an extra layer of protection for more of your big particles. We also have this. This is what you'll need to clean your air filter if you do buy the upgrader. Here's the cleaner. What you do on it is you'll soak the whole filter down. Let it sit for a minute. You can do the outer wear the same way. Also, the foam piece, the inner piece, you do the same way. Then you let it sit, you take it to your sink, you rub it through it with your hands and rinse it out with hot water, and that'll clean these up back like new. All right, now that we let them soak, we're gonna put them here in this water and all you do is rub this in with your hands, rinse it all off good. And this is the outerwear that is available here at Main Street Cycle. For the upgraded uni air filter setup. Same way with all this. And you want this to really air dry, don't you? Yeah. Okay. It needs to be dry. Mm -hmm. 
be sure not to do this with your stock filter because if you get water on it, it will come all to pieces and suck it all in your engine. Yeah. So on the stock air filter, it's a two-stage setup, which is a good setup. But uh, the first stage, yeah, or I don't know if you call it first or second, but the inner part is paper, and you don't want to get it wet. But the outer is like a foam piece, just like on the uni. But the uni air filter has a two-stage foam set up, plus our outerwear. So, all right, we got it all cleaned up and dried. Now we're going to oil this. We're going to oil this one and this one. Then we're going to put this on top. This also comes in a kit. We sell this. It comes with cleaner and oil in one kit. You can get from us. All you'll do here is just lightly go over it around the whole filter. And it needs the oil on it. Yeah, don't install this one dry and expect it to work right. And then you're going to do the same thing with this part. And slide it back over this. That. Yep. And then this you just slide right over the top of all of it. <clears throat> Maximum engine protection. So yeah, just make sure that you get you a good even coat of oil, especially on that outer foam. And uh, you'll have maximum engine protection. But you still want to clean this quite frequently. And the more dustier conditions that you ride in, the more frequently you need to change uh, or clean your air filter. So just put that back on. You know, on the factory one, it'll have a Phillips head clamp instead of this flathead style, but if you swap filters, it'll come with this one. All right. And when you put your lid back on, you wanna make sure this surface right around here has no dirt piled up on it because the air box will not seal around it if it does. Make sure you wiggle it around, make sure it sit on there right, and you just pop all your clips back up. how nice and snug those are that means it's a good seal yeah. can be aggravating getting on and off but that's a good thing and same thing what I talking about get oil spray these rubber grommets and you're going back together with it makes life easier Get to center when lined up. Don't shove it quite in yet. Until you get this side situated, when you shove it forward, it'll jump right down in there. Mm. That's it. Pop these two sides in and there it is. Put the seat back on and you're good to go. It sits down in there, slides forward. Down in the back. Oh. All right, so one more thing on a uh, full maintenance or full service. Uh, Mr. Joel has one more tip for us that they do here and recommend for you to do as well. Fuel treatment, but it's good to do it about every tank of gas, but at least every service you do on it, it's good to put this in there. It helps all kinds of stuff, octane, water, all kinds of, just a lot, helps clean everything up, and get it, everything going good, but. We sell this also here. This is our favorite treatment we got, and this is the best, best that we got, best that you can get. Oh yeah, you can order that at Main Street Cycle and call them uh, between their business hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. 
<clears throat> and ask for the parts department and they can ship that out to you as many of that as you want so some good stuff so that's a full service on 800 and that goes for the 2019 2020 and 2021 model and you have just completely serviced your c force 800 so there's the 2020 2021 model same exact procedure even for the 2019 model you can buy everything that you need to do this and service your machine right here at main street cycle go to mainstreetcycle.com and uh, to get some more information as well as you can call the number listed down in the description and just say hey look i need to get a service kit full service kit msc service kit for my machine uh, and just specify what you have and uh, they'll take care of you so uh or if you don't have the confidence to do this on your own come let the pros do it at main street cycle mr joel and the rest of the crew here will take good care of everything you got so thank y'all hope this video was helpful and uh we'll see you in the next one